The last pattern in the Moving Features Between Objects series is very similar to the previous one, Introduce Foreign Method, and it's called Introduce Local Extension. The motivation is the same, that you have a server class that you can't modify, but you need some new functionality added to it. Though in this case, you might need a lot of new functionality added, perhaps several methods or properties. And so there are two general approaches we're taking here as part of this pattern, and that's excluding the extension methods that we covered in the previous example. Here we have using a subclass or using a wrapper. So let's start with subclass. I had to change the example from the book in this case because the book was still using the same example from the last one where it was subclassing the date object in Java, which was valid. However, in C Sharp we can't subclass the date time object. It's a sealed class. So instead I'm using another contrived example here with a data table object. So what we have here is we're looking for rows in that data table where a specific column is not null. And we might repeat this, uh, this call right here several times throughout the code. And so essentially what we need is this logic on the table itself. So we can introduce a local extension by subclassing the data table. For lack of a better name, we'll just call it special data table. And let's, uh, let's introduce this property here. Looks like it's returning an I enumerable of data row. We'll just call this non-null rows. And now we can use the move method pattern and essentially just copy and paste this logic. And so now we get to the side effect of this pattern, which is that we have to change this type. And so once we do that, at this point we would recompile, run all of our tests, make sure we haven't broken Liskov substitution anywhere by adding this and changing this type here. But if we're still good and we can still use this type, then we can go ahead and use that property directly. And that allows us to, using subclassing, add some features onto a server object that we couldn't otherwise modify. Now the other option here, if we can't subclass, is to use a wrapper. Now we're back to the date time example. We can demonstrate that we can't subclass that. You see the IntelliSense is hinting at us that it's not available in this case. And the compiler will tell us that pretty explicitly. Can't derive from the sealed type. So since we can't subclass, in this case, we're going to wrap the date time object. So let's create a property that we're wrapping. Add it to the constructor. We'd also want to implement equals and get hash code in this case, but we don't need to do that as part of this example. And so now we need to again use the move method pattern to get this functionality onto this object. We'll make it a property, call it next day or next start. Now we'll call it next day. Make this a little more generic. And naturally, we'd probably want some better logic right here. Make sure that this isn't the last of the month. We could use add date. Essentially we want to get 
midnight the next day. But for the purpose of this example, all we're doing is taking the existing functionality, which works in the system and passes all the tests, and moving that to this wrapper class. And so now, just like with subclassing, at this point we finally get to our potentially breaking change. We haven't done anything that modifies the system's behavior at all. But now, we change that type, and of course we can't compile and test because we have to use the delegation here. So we could start by using that delegation. If we're concerned that we may have broken Liskov substitution somewhere, that we may have broken something, now we're going to use that property on the wrapper, and at this point we would compile and test. And if all the tests are fine, then we don't have to back out this change, and we can essentially make use of the property that we just added. And that's pretty much it. That allows us to introduce local extensions onto the server classes that we otherwise couldn't modify. That's all for the introduced local extension pattern, as well as the moving features between objects series. Thanks for watching.